Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to episode five. In this video, we're gonna talk about if statements inside of Bash. This is basically a way to test for some condition. So we're starting off with an empty file and I want to request a value from the user, which we can use the read command to do that. So let's say we wanted to get a password and then just echo the value of password back out. We say hello and it repeats hello, simple stuff. If we wanted to ask the user for the password, well, we could go up here and create another echo saying, hey, enter a password. But you can actually do this with an option here, hyphen P for prompt. And we'll just say, what is the password? And now when we run this, what is the password? We can put in whatever password and it echoes it back. So that's just a little bit more convenient, better user experience. And what we can do is we can create a condition on what they type in for this password. So if they get the password correct, we say congratulations. If they get it wrong, you know, we threaten them and end the program. So to create an if statement, we say if, and then square brackets. And you're going to space it out like this, where you have a space here, and then a space on the right side of this one and the left side of this one. So pretty much the expression is gonna go right here. That spacing is important. and the reason that is, is because this square bracket is actually a command or a program itself. So you could say man square bracket, which in bash is known as test. So when we hit enter, you can see the command name is test. You can scroll through here and learn all of the information. And you can also say which test, and that will say built in command. So we tried man and which, which, speaking of, this video is brought to you by Sloppy Joes. I'm just playing. Although that looks pretty good. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, how to do an if statement. So we can put some expression in here, which will evaluate to true or false. Now when we do this, there's a few things you gotta watch out for. The first is the variable that we want to use in this expression is going to be inside of quotes. So we will say password, like so. And to compare this to some value, we're going to put a space equals and then another value inside of quotes that we're comparing it against. Let's just say our password is Caleb. And then we say, then what's gonna happen? We'll just echo a value, welcome to the club. Now we can end our if statement with fi, which is if backwards. So this is the syntax. Let's run it, make sure everything is good. And then we'll talk about it. What is the password? Caleb. And it first echoes the password, which you probably don't need that, but we'll just keep that there for now. And then it does the condition and then it'll echo welcome to the club. If these two match, if they don't match, let's say we put something else. Well, then it does not echo welcome to the club. So just to go over that again, you have to make sure you have spaces. So there's a space here. There's a space here. There is a space here, here, and here. So lots of space, and we're using a single equals here. Now you can go ahead and use a double equals and that's gonna work the same way. However, portability wise, the single equals is more standard. So if you're gonna be using this with other shells, then you just use the single equals. This can be a little confusing if you're coming from other languages. Often a single equals is used for assignment and double equals is used for equality testing. In Bash, you can use the single or double equal sign inside of the if statement. Now, another big area that you could mess this up is with the spacing. Let's say we went ahead and got rid of these spaces. When we run this, what is the password? Let's just say tacos. Well, it still says welcome to the club. Huh, that's strange. So basically what's happening is we have a logical error. We have a bug in our code where it's not working as we would expect. It's checking if the password is Caleb. It's not, yet somehow we're still getting access to the club. And that's because this comparison is incorrect. You do not have the spaces there. This equal sign is a command itself. So when you have a command by itself like that, you have to have the spaces. There we go, and that is our final condition. If you want to expand upon this and make an else, well, we would say else, and this is what happens if it evaluates to false. We would say something like, get out of town, freak. And when we run this, we give an incorrect password. It says, get out of town, freak. And anything after the entire structure here will be executed either way. So if we say echo, something like exiting, this is going to run all the time. So. It'll say get out of town freak exiting. 
if we run it and we do put the correct password in, it says welcome to the club, exiting. So basically we had a split in the road and that road comes back together and we continue one line at a time down on line 12. Well, that is all I have for this video. Thank you for joining me along on this journey and stay tuned for episode number four. Peace out.